Hey, Keith, I really appreciate you coming with me today to buy a used car. Oh, no problem. I buy some of the cars for Consumer Reports testing program. Oh. Yeah, so I've, I've done this a few times. I'm, I'm really glad to help. <laughs> oh, yeah. by the way, like you said, I wrote down all my questions right before I got here. Good, 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 because the, the whole process, you know, you can get lost, and it really helps to write down every question you have ahead of time so you don't forget anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh, jeez. Oh, look wow, this. look at this one. Well, fine, let me know when you are ready to buy a car. He Let's looks angry. <laughs> hey, hey, Barry's the name. Good to meet you. It looked good in a car like this. What, what did you say your name was again? Uh, I'm Jack. Jeff, Jeff, nice to meet you. Let's talk finances. What do you think you can afford on this? Jack, 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 no, don't. Don't tell him how much money you can spend because then he's gonna want you to spend every penny of it. Good point. Thanks yeah, a lot, Keith. Definitely. All right, all right. Don't focus on the price so much. Wait a minute, is that cashmere? I used to have a cashmere uh, sweater just like that, but it got a, a red dot on it and I couldn't return it or wash it out. It was a, uh, what kind of bird is that? It, it looks like it's playing with the, the, the wavy guy over there. You like the guy, he's waving all over the place. He's great, it's wonderful. Uh, was there a question somewhere in there? Jack. You have to stay on topic. Don't let him control the conversation because then he can kind of fast talk you into a deal that you don't necessarily want. That's why you have those questions. So make sure your head's in the game. There's a lot of money at stake here. Thanks a lot, Keith. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know if this car is right for me, but the one I am interested in is that one over there. Yeah, let's go take a look at this car. Okay, suit yourself. Suit this guy yourself. looked really okay, familiar, okay. didn't he? Yeah. I can't place it. Now this, this is good, yeah. Yeah, you know SUVs like this are very popular because they give you a good view of the road and also the fuel economy is pretty good considering the size of the vehicle. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy again. Jerry, here you are. I see you're looking at the blue car. It's got that blue car smell. <laughs> There are so many people who want this car, you're gonna have to move on it today, because otherwise it will be gone. I mean, this car's not gonna sit here for its birthday, you get me? So let's get back in there and sign some paperwork and we can make sure that you don't lose out on this great deal I'm gonna get you. Now, he's trying to rush you, and this is a lot of money you're spending here, so take your time and only do what you feel comfortable with. You're in control of this purchase, remember that. You're right, Keith. Um, is it okay if I check out the car a little bit? All right, all right, suit yourself, but time is a waste in here, okay? Now, there are a lot of things that you need to check on a used car in order to find out whether or not it's in really good condition. So are you ready? I'm ready. Check the outside of the car for dents, chipped paint, or mismatched body panels. All of those things could be evidence of a previous crash. Look to make sure the interior is in good shape. No sagging headliner, cracked dashboard, or well-worn driver's seat. Those all could be evidence of excessive mileage, wear and tear, or abuse. Take a whiff while you're inside, too. A mildew smell could mean the car has once been flooded. Pop the hood. Make sure there's no obvious oil spillage around the engine, and that you don't see any evidence of leaks or worn parts. Also, be sure to take it for a test drive and bring it to a mechanic you trust to check it out and make sure there are no hidden issues. So Jack, what do you think about the car? You know what? Everything checked out. I think I like this car. I think this is the one for me. Ah, now it's time to negotiate. So you've already done your research, which is great. You know how much this car's worth in this condition with this many miles. So start with what you're willing to pay and then tell him a number that's uh, just a little lower than that and be confident. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm really interested in this car. I'm willing to pay $16,000 for this. $60,000. You want me to send your kids to college too? This car isn't leaving the lot for anything less than $22,500. $16,000, good one. Now Jack, as much as you like this car, sometimes this happens and you have to be prepared to walk away if you just can't get a good deal. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'm gonna be looking somewhere else. Wait, wait, don't be too hasty. Come on, maybe we can work something out. Uh, let's just come over to my office. Let's, let's figure something out. All right, let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> All right, 16,000, carry the two, divide by six times, minus the tax title registration fees. All right, you can have it for 16,000. You're killing me here, you're killing me. But you know what, let's talk turkey. I can get you some really great rates on a loan. So do you want to do 48 months, 72, 96? Actually, I took my friend Keith's advice and I secured a loan before I showed up. So, I'm all set. Okay, he's all set. He's already got a loan, great. Well, 
have you thought about how you're gonna protect the car? Because you're definitely going to need an extended warranty. You're gonna need some VIN etching in the car in order to make sure that it doesn't get stolen. We can put in an extra alarm system. We can put on also some rust proofing as well. You're gonna need that true coat as well. Jack, so many of those add-ons a dealer tries to sell you are unnecessary. They're pure profit for the dealership and they end up costing you money. So my advice is to just skip them. I'll skip those, please. I think you'll be sorry. I think you'll be fine. Fine! <laughs> to the paperwork. Keith, I really want to thank you again. You were a tremendous help today. Well, buying a car can be really, really stressful, but you did great. You planned out everything ahead of time, then you stuck to the plan, and you negotiated a great price on a car that I think you're gonna love for thousands of miles. So, good job to you, too. Oh, great. Jeremy, you're looking great in this car. I told you the blue is your color. Johnny, why did you even bring this extremely handsome guy with silly-looking glasses? Seriously. You can't even remember his name. Jimmy, come on. Jack, let's go, come on. I'm tired of this guy. I never want to see him again.